Welcome to Eventful Endeavors, secrets to crafting the perfect celebration. If you're planning an event and looking for useful tips from industry experts, you're in the right place. So get ready to take some notes and we'll dive right in. This is Eventful Endeavors. Hey everybody, it's Nate with Felix and Fingers Dueling Pianos. I am here with the amazing Jimmy Alvarez, who is the food and beverage director at uh, the Philmont Club. And uh, he has, wears many, many hats, including helping manage events there, as well as all of the membership engagement events that they have at the club. I'm really excited to be talking with him, and uh, it should be a really great time. Jimmy, thanks for joining me. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I was really excited uh, to get chatting with you about this. I, you and I have talked a number of times over the phone yes. about everything going on over at the at, uh, Philmont Club. Uh -huh. uh, I wanted to, to dive in and talk a little bit about you because you've told me a few you know, stories from your past and stuff. So how long have you been with Philmont? Uh, I've been with Philmont almost two years now. Um, I've had a great time here and it's, uh, it's been uh, uh, a roller coaster of, uh, of emotions here at Philmont uh, <laughs> with uh, construction happening and all these fun stuff, uh, you know, uh, in the in the very near future. So it's 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 oh, cool. been a fun ride so far. Awesome. So prior to your time uh, with Philmont, uh, what were you doing, you know, before the last couple of years? What was sort of your path to, to coming on? Uh, wow. Well, so my been? path, uh, a little, uh, um, I, I didn't go the conventional way of uh, going to um, to school education. It was a, the, um, it's really the hands-on education that I got. Um, I worked for this amazing company called the Bohemian Club. Um, oh. and, uh, I worked for them for about 20 years, uh, oh, during wow. my time there. I know it's a, it, there's a lot of grays, I just, uh, spray painted and, um, you know, dye them. And, <laughs> but overall, uh, it was a great experience, uh, 20 years with them. Uh, they did provide some education. Uh, one of them being, uh, going to, uh, the wine country and, uh, learning a little bit of, uh, of the wine business and, oh, um, yeah. and, uh, so I have my level three W, uh, uh, S E T. So that's the, uh, spirit wine education trust. Um, so it's, uh, it's been, oh, wow. a um, it, it was a great experience. Uh, I went to CIA, um, uh, Bohemian club, uh, supported CIA and, um, mm -hmm. that's the culinary Institute of America. So I took okay. some courses there, <laughs> not the central intelligence. Agency. No, no, no. <laughs> no. However, CIA. I did. Uh, however, I did work with the uh, the Secret Service for uh, when uh, I had some presidents uh, at the club. So oh, that's cool. Uh, I know it was really cool. Again, a, an awesome company to work for. Um, but uh, uh, my time has passed with them, um, and then uh, at a certain point, uh, living in San Francisco in California. Mm -hmm. The cost of living was creeping up way too much, um, and at a certain point, I decided, you know what? And this was about ten years ago. I decided, all right, let's go ahead and make the move across country. Sure, why not? Um, mm -hmm. So, and uh, is it not? Uh, not only it was it a culture shock um, to move to the East Coast, but also uh, from a social club, which is the Bohemian Club, to country club um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, companies here in the East Coast. So I've worked for several other clubs, uh, country clubs, uh, all were great experiences. Um, I, you know, wouldn't trade it for, for the world. Uh, but now I find myself with a, a, a true company that really cares and, um, and has really transformed not only me, but also, uh, the, the Philmont has, is is transforming as I'm at, at in, in front of my eyes. So, which is kind of cool to see. So, um, That's really cool. uh, I'm excited to see what the future brings. That's that's what I was gonna say. It sounds like there's a lot of excitement stirring around over at Philmont. Yes, yes, uh, well, definitely, um, absolutely. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is, you know, one of the hats you wear is helping with events that come into the Philmont, mm -hmm. weddings and corporate events and social things like that. Mm -hmm. um, in the time that you've been with with Philmont and even some of the things that you saw at the Bohemian Club on the on the West Coast, are there any like current trends that you see in the industry that get you really excited? Are there things that are kind of evolving in front of your eyes? Like what are some of the cool new things you've been seeing come through with your events? Um, absolutely. And what, um, what I've noticed, uh, the successful clubs that really, uh, move with the wind, uh, I guess in some <laughs> ways, uh, uh, moving with the trend, um, you know, uh, 
it, it's really including the entire family. Uh, so the country clubs in the past and in, the, in their history, it was only meant for the uh, for for the gentlemen. So um, mm -hmm. now it's more country club where you have to have um, activities for the kids um, and uh, something for the ladies and um, and something other something social than just golf. So I've been in the golf industry, yeah. you know, uh, country club industry for some time. So it's no <laughs> longer, yes, it is easy to focus on the golf course for the gentlemen. Um, mm -hmm. that's what sells the membership. Um, but, uh, for, to get the approval from the entire family, you have to have something for the kids and for the ladies. So I've been, uh, working on, um, here at Philmont, uh, really amping up all of the uh, kids events. So, uh, once a month we have a kids event where it's just focused on, um, on just the kids. So we did a little chef's, uh, uh event where, uh, we cooked, um, Caesar salad, of course, cooked, uh, and, uh, cooked, uh, uh, pizzas and, uh, decorated our own desserts. And you piggyback that with, um, uh, a parent's night out where we take on the kids, entertain the children while the parents, uh, go to the, uh, restaurant. Mm -hmm. and have their nice quiet meal so essentially we're uh overseeing their kids while while they enjoy the club uh so <laughs> it's a, it's kind of a yeah. uh a great thing to 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 really share that here at Philmont uh and and it's been so far very successful so from when i first started uh we were doing hmm, about two to three people uh, attending uh now we had uh about 12 people attending for for these events so it's been kind of nice to see it all grow that's really so. cool mm -hmm. and so uh tell me a little bit about like we, it's funny you mentioned that because i definitely see that with uh just communities at large especially mm -hmm. when it comes to things like country clubs and social clubs there was sort mm -hmm. of a uh, a targeted focus on just one person in, say, the family uh, right. to have them join the club. And I feel like it's not just you guys, but uh, almost the culture as a whole is evolving to include more social interaction, get more of the family involved. And so mm -hmm. things like club membership and engagement becomes uh, a much broader uh, experience, um, right. you know, especially when engaging with the clubs. One of the things that I was excited to talk to you about was uh, when folks actually book in their own events at the club, mm -hmm. things that aren't necessarily sponsored by uh, the Philmont, but more folks making use of the club's space. Right. Um, tell me a little bit about a recent event. Is there a, a one in particular that sticks out in your mind? Well, a lot of the events here at, uh, in, in, at Philmont is, is, is I can speak, uh, you know, they, they, they are embedded in my mind and my memories now. Uh, so, um, but what's nice about uh, Philmont uh, compared to any other clubs that I've worked at is that it has two different uh, buildings. So okay. uh, you have a clubhouse um, that is meant for the members. That's where you find oh. the locker room, the um, pro shop, and the member restaurant. Um, mm -hmm. And on this other uh, side, uh, we have this other building that is uh, uh, large enough to hold about 300 people, um, with a oh, dance wow. floor. Yeah. And it's completely separate. So we can operate, uh, the membership activity, uh, w without, um, disrupting, uh, the private events or being disrupted by the private events and, uh, shutting down the membership operations. So, uh, with That's that, really um, we can have any and every event at any point. So it's been, um, fantastic to have that experience to be able to have 300 people on a Friday night and not have to shut down the, the, the membership operation. So it's, uh, well, and for the folks hosting the event, that's also really, really cool. Cause a oh, lot yeah. of times there's a trade off with mm -hmm. a country club style venue where, you know, the members still have access to the same space. So there's a little bit of like strangers in our private event <laughs> our strangers uh, at our wedding. <laughs> whereas with you guys there's that that kind of distinct separation and so it can lead to a kind of a more you know closed off uh, intimate affair so if somebody even if they have 300 people it's kind of silly mm -hmm. to call a 300 person event an intimate but when it's all 300 people that you know mm -hmm. and you don't have to be concerned with um i guess observers <laughs> that exactly can really, that can definitely be something really cool and special um 
Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going to also mention uh, one that really does stick out is uh, we, d- uh, we did a 500-person uh, event mm-hmm. just recently, but it was an outside caterer that came in and provided all the meals. And we still do – we allow that. Um, so we're very oh, unique. Cool. We, we're very open to anything and every, uh, everything and, uh, uh, and everyone. So this was an Indian uh, catering company that uh, was looking for a venue Ooh. big enough uh, to host 500 people. And – we had people all over the place. Uh, I wouldn't say the closet, but definitely one of the smaller rooms. But uh, uh, it was kind of fun to be able to, to 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 do that here at the club. So that's really neat. And yeah, um, Indian food is one of my favorites. So I like my. I'm trying to like. <laughs> my mouth is already watering. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so okay. So this sounds so so cool. Um, talk to me about like planning an event at the Philmont, like if somebody wanted to get that 300 person space, what does mm-hmm. that process look like with you guys? Who, who should they talk to first? What should they know? Uh, Ariel Abaton is the person, uh, is a catering person. Uh, we're uh, about to bring in a new person uh, fairly oh, soon. Awesome. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm always available, even though I am the uh, F&B director uh, and in charge of all the food and beverage uh, operation. Uh, mm-hmm. I do a little s- sales myself, uh, so uh, I can. I'm definitely very available to to plan those events. But uh, Ariel is is spot on when it comes to uh, you know reaching out to her. She's very uh, attentive, cares a lot, um, and responds very quickly. And uh, sometimes she corrects me <laughs> when it comes to uh, planning an event and uh, reminding me, <laughs> "Hey, by the way, you can't do that." I'm like, "Oh, that's right, I can't." Uh, but <laughs> Uh, she's fantastic in uh, providing um, all of her knowledge in all of the uh, events that she's done, as well as myself, uh, considering that I've been in the industry for 25 plus years in the industry. So it's uh, uh, it's kind of a a a, a fun um, team that, uh, that that that's here at Philmont that uh, mm-hmm. makes these events come together. Uh, but uh, starting with Ariel, she books the event, she schedules the, the, the detail meetings. And then from there, um, she hands it off to, um, the, um, operational team that, uh, oversees the event during the event. Um, and, uh, from there I oversee, uh, pretty much the entire operations with chef, uh, and making sure that, uh, all goes as planned. Um, so there are multiple meetings for the client to come in and ask questions and, uh, you know, relay the details that they want to, convey uh to the entire crew um but for the most part uh it's uh it's ariel who who's the mastermind behind the whole thing so that's she's awesome. the uh yeah she's great so ariel is uh the head guru but it's really cool to hear that you all kind of work as a team and there's really mm-hmm. great communication i i know a lot of folks um definitely appreciate that because putting together an event or a wedding is a really big project mm-hmm. um i have to ask you mentioned chef uh what is your favorite thing that chef prepares at Philmont? Um, well, right now, um, he, uh, we have, uh, the pretty, uh, cookie cutter, um, uh, menu that we have for our banquet events, mm-hmm. um, which is it, all very delicious. And, um, um, and he does the chicken piccata is one of my favorites. The, uh, the salmon, oh, yeah. uh, with the soy glaze is one of my favorites. Ooh. Um, so his hors d'oeuvres, um, I t- tend to, uh, sneak in and get, uh, the, uh, bacon wrap scallops. Uh, but, um, What's nice about Chef is that, uh, you know, if uh, we've had people come to him and say, hey, um, we want, really want to have a Latin theme, um, so can we have XYZ? And he would be 100% on board on making it happen. I think the most uh, elaborate dish that he's made is paella. So we oh. purchased a uh, big kettle, uh, copper kettle. Uh, for him to actually be able to uh, to make this uh, this request happen, uh, so it was a great, amazing paella displayed, mm. uh, very well seasoned uh, with the saffron. So it was like, uh, man, <laughs> you know, oh, um, he's you know, ready for it. I'm almost uh, sorry that I asked the question because I should have had lunch before this interview. <laughs> You're making me hungry. Oh, okay. So there's. I want to ask you a little bit. I mean, we've talked so much about like all the unique things with, with Philmont and uh, the, you know, all the things that you can offer. So I'm going to ask a question sort of more specifically about your experience with the event. And I'm going to open it up to 
all of your 25 years of experience. Mm -hmm. In all of the years that you've been doing this, is there an event that sticks out in your mind as like, that was like the best event we've I've ever seen, I've ever been a part of? And mm -hmm. what did that event look like? What was it? It's a very good question. Um, it's a hard question. <laughs> it is a hard question. And there's so many that come to mind. I mean, uh, there was one event, um, again, working at the Bohemian Club, uh, mm -hmm. I, I not only helped plan, but helped execute um, theatrical shows. So I had uh, a band, a jazz band, a chorus, um, a rock and roll band mm -hmm. um, alongside that. Um, I also worked with the lighting, sound, um, costumes, and set design. So uh, not only that, but I also um, ran an entire dining area that sat about uh, 1,100 people. So, oh, my goodness. I know. I had 800 employees at one point. Uh, so um, the one event that comes to mind is um, – we did a show um, in at the Bohemian Club, uh, and, and this is, you know, working with the set design and working with the costumes and sound and and all of the, all of those pieces coming together to put this show together. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, uh, for a past president, uh, George Bush, and uh, they in the show they put together the uh, his timeline of his life. Um, and that was the one where I had my hands on quite a bit and uh, mm -hmm. to the point where I met uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Bush, uh, President Bush. So it was the one mm -hmm. that I'm like, wow, I can't believe I just uh, uh, went through this one. Um, <laughs> but uh, another, that event that, another event that comes to mind is uh, one uh, where we had a politician as well. Um, and uh, it was his 80th birthday and um, we had... An entire team work about three days for this one event. Um, oh, wow! But um, I think what made it memorable is the team that was that I was working with uh, that uh, made it fun and interesting and uh, and something that I enjoyed doing for um, um, as a team. So that's really cool. I, I look I look back at those days. I'm like, hmm, that was a whole lot of fun and. Here at Philmont, I'm 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 looking at uh, looking around, thinking, man, I really like hanging out with this person. I really like working with this person. So, it's a pretty That's cool awesome. experience right now to kind of build my team, uh, and uh, it's our team that is making it all happen. That's really really cool. So yeah. I wanted to come full circle. It was a question that I had forgotten to ask before. You had mentioned, you know, working and and, and ex getting some experience in wine. Mm -hmm. Um, you might have to be my Somalia sometime when I come visit, <laughs> but, uh, I got it. I just got to ask, do you have a favorite wine, a favorite red, a favorite white? Uh, you know, what's funny is that, yes, I do. Um, so living in California, I had the opportunity to go and I had members from the Bohemian club that, uh, were winemakers. So Robert Mondavi, um, then, uh, um, uh, Duckhorn and, uh, um, and, uh, Dan Duckhorn, Oh, uh, cake bread as well. Uh, but um, in uh, Paso Robles, there is this winery called uh, Turley, um, not Turley Hill. Uh, oh, my God. I'm blanking now with the name. Um, <laughs> Quail Hill is one in the Russian River. It's one of my favorite. It's a uh, Pinot Noir. Ooh. And um, it is um, one of my favorites. But, uh, you know, if you were to ask me which one's your favorite, uh, that would be it. Uh, but the most memorable one is, um, you know, at a bed and breakfast, uh, hanging out with uh, the wife and, you know, fireplaces is roaring and I'm amongst, uh, you know, friends and, you know, family and we're enjoying this amazing bottle of red. And uh, if you mm -hmm. were to ask me what it was, no idea. No idea. <laughs> <But> I, <laughs> yeah, <that's> cannot just... <laughs> remember. But it was oh, the best goodness. wine I had because I was amongst the, you know, family and friends. So uh, in Napa Valley, you know, in the middle of, you know, mm -hmm. late at night uh, uh, by the fireplace uh, and just uh, hanging out. That's awesome. So the we talked a little bit about like kind of the cool things that you've seen in, in events. Um, I always like to, to ask, you know, folks that are experienced in working in events, uh, what they would caution folks with. So I would ask this, if somebody were just planning an event, you know, out, out near you guys, let's say, you know, of course they're going to sign up to have their event at Philmont. What would you think say is like the first thing they should consider when planning, let's say a wedding 
When planning a wedding is, uh, one, um, do not uh, freak out, uh, be patient and understanding, uh, because um, it may seem overwhelming um, at times, but um, asking for friends' uh, 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 help um, mm -hmm. is, is very beneficial. Um, relying on the pros to handle the things that um, can yeah. be a little overwhelming. So, example, you know, uh, going to Ariel and asking, hey, Ariel, um, how do I plan an event? Great. She has already a sheet of things uh, of uh, that you should be looking out for. Here's the timeline that, um, that you need to, here's your checklist for this timeline. And it's a week away. This is all the stuff that you need to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, the pros are the ones that you should rely on the most um, and uh, family and friends that can, you know, take on some of the responsibility off your hands. Sure. So, um, you know, the, the the bride and groom that uh, are, uh, you know, I, all hands on deck or the um, or, or all hands on, on on the event are the ones that tend to. Um, look a little stress on their day of when they should be relaxed and enjoying the actual moment. Yeah. So uh, rely on the staff, rely on the team, rely on your friends and family, uh, and sometimes just let go. Uh, so, uh, you know, <laughs> it's okay if there's no blue flowers in the flower arrangements. It's okay. It, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, it's the... Um, 15 minutes that you're up on the uh, altar or whatever, um, you know, uh, area you're, you're doing the, this union, uh, ad, mm -hmm. uh, that really counts. And even yeah. if it is raining, it's, it's quite all right. It's all about the well, meaning behind it all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if, if I'm hearing you right, uh, step one is don't freak out. Exactly. <laughs> Step two is, uh, you know, trust the folks like like us that that do this for a living. You know, I always mm -hmm. get to say it's like most folks get to experience, you know, one of their own wedding and mm -hmm. maybe a, a half dozen of folks they love. Mm -hmm. I'm I feel really really blessed that when it comes to weddings, like I have literally gotten to be a part of hundreds of them. Oh yeah, uh, and and yeah, I mean, it, it kind of goes along with what we always say. It's like you know, no one remembers exactly what you know, what flowers were in the, the mm -hmm. table toppers, but right. everyone remembers, uh, the ceremony. Although I've had had a couple of brides that say like, they only kind of remember the ceremony cause they were so nervous. They kind of blacked out, but you know, the <laughs> folks remember things like the fun and the locations. Right. And honestly, if the food's amazing, they'll remember that too. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, it um, was interesting. I mean, I, um, in my, I got married about five, seven years ago. Seven. Um, okay. <laughs> And uh, I was I had to remember. Okay, what year? What year are we on? <laughs> but um, beautiful event. Um, with, uh, my wife's a an events coordinator as well, and oh, cool. uh, me and the being in the industry, uh, we 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 were hands on, and we knew what we were doing, and we planned it all. Um, mm -hmm. So kind of towards the uh, uh, the day, um, uh, we did rely on a lot of family family and friends to help out. But uh, at a certain point, um, it was, uh, you know, I don't remember the food. And, and uh, <laughs> okay. the dancing, I remember. The ceremony, right. I remember. But the food, don't remember. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's, it's just one of those things. But if the, the dancing is what you remember and those mm -hmm. moments that you got to share with, oh, yeah. with people, that's, you know, that's, that's kind of what it's all about. There's a... There's a reason why photographers and videographers are so important because the day <laughs> flies by so quickly and there's so much going on that it's, you know, you want those tangible things to take away. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, okay. You can't mention that your wife's in, it works in events and not give her a shout out. So <laughs> what's her name? Who's she with? Tell me all about it. <laughs> well, she's not in, in events anymore. Uh, oh, okay. but her, her her name is Katie Boyd Alvarez. Uh, she's my wife, and uh, Hi, I love her to death. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she um, was uh, uh, an events coordinator for a very long time, and uh, now she's a real estate agent. And uh, oh, okay. uh, so she's uh, living her life uh, now with uh, uh, selling homes. Uh, so, That's so cool. We, you know, it's interesting that, um, you know, being in the industry, we uh, tend to focus a lot on service. 
you know, you think mm-hmm. about service and say, all right, my, my job is to provide this meal. Um, there's a difference um, between service and hospitality. Uh, hospitality, it's the service, but also providing that experience. And uh, mm-hmm. her, um, her experience in the hospitality industry has helped her to provide that service and also provide that experience. So she's killing it in real estate right now. So That's awesome. it's, uh, it's good to see that, uh, you know, this um, uh, knowledge and, and, and experience that we've had uh, does help in other industries. It's just, uh, it's, it's hard to, you know, um, really, you know, uh, it's really hard to, you know, um, describe it but it is yeah. it is a fun thing to have is that uh that experience of of oh yeah well and service I, versus hospitality and like you said like you know the, putting in that extra effort that big difference between like service and hospitality and mm-hmm. putting um you know folks needs first it's kind of funny that you you know to tie those the couple, last couple of things you said together uh you know you talked about like trusting your vendors you know folks trust somebody who's selling them a house in a mm-hmm. lot of ways they probably wouldn't expect and that's you know hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars millions sometimes mm-hmm. and you know it's uh you mentioned like some folks kind of letting go and trusting their vendors you know a wedding it's pretty rare for it to cost as much as a house <laughs> but um you know like that it's also important that you know the people that really care that you bring on to your wedding to to trust oh, yeah. them to help you kind of guide you in those decisions if you can trust somebody to help guide you and take good mm-hmm. care of you for a $3 million home, you can trust them with a, you know, a, a wedding that's, you know, maybe 10% of that. <laughs> so. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. About that. Uh, say 1%, 10%. Well, yeah, 1%. Don't judge my like math. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Jimmy, I really appreciate you taking the time. I have um, a couple of the things that I, I wanted to kind of note. So you, um, before we talked uh, now, you actually had sent me some info on something kind of special that you're offering folks that mentioned the podcast. And I think this one was geared more towards your membership. Would you mm-hmm. like to tell me a little bit about the, the kind of special deal that you guys are have going yeah, on? Yeah, absolutely. Um, currently right now, the club is providing a, um, uh, 50% off on, uh, the golf membership, uh, oh, that's and cool. as well as with the social, uh, uh membership. So, um, oh, you know, right now with, uh, Philmont growing and, uh, as far as, you know, we're under construction right now when it comes to um, a, uh, our new driving range that's coming in um, and a new uh, pickleball tennis court. And that's another trend that's kind of uh, growing. So we kind of, again, m- shifted towards uh, instead of having eight uh, tennis courts, uh, we're doing uh, four tennis and uh, six uh, pickleball. Um, so oh, wow. uh, they're all coming in uh, uh, new this year. So. Uh, with that, uh, we're able to, um, uh, while we're still in construction, we're offering these uh, amazing deals so that we can go ahead and bring in those mm-hmm. members before we start, you know, increasing our initiation fees. So um, with that, uh, we're also providing a, uh, a a summer preview of what we have to offer. So um, that, that includes the pool that we have, which is a um, an amazing pool for, uh, for the, for the family, uh, you know, dad's out there playing golf while kids are hanging out in the pool. So, uh, uh, while mom does yoga on the deck that, uh, we're now starting to provide. So, um, that's so cool. Yeah. So it, awesome. It, so something that we are offering, um, with folks that are, um, either members or, mm-hmm. uh, have their event at uh, the film month. Uh, we're actually offering uh, at least 10% off of all of our packages. We have special pricing and extra things that we're going to be throwing in. So, mm-hmm. you know, become a member of Philmont, have your event at, at Philmont and give us a holler. Um, Jimmy, it, it's been a real pleasure chatting with you, man. I, I've, I feel like I've learned a lot about you just in this call. <laughs> um, thank you so much for spending the time with me. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at an event real soon. Absolutely. Hopefully, hopefully very soon. Awesome. All right. Thanks for listening to another episode of Eventful Endeavors, Secrets to Crafting the Perfect Celebration. We hope to have left you with some actionable ideas for your own event. If you like the show, please subscribe and definitely leave us a review. We read every comment. So until next time, happy planning and see you soon on Eventful Endeavors.